Welcome to the 8th episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. In this episode I've taken a close look at yet another title published by Team17, Arcade Pool, developed by Antitesi, I guess, and released in 1994. Before diving into the actual review, let's get one thing straight. I like Pool just as much as the next guy. I played a lot of Pool in my youth. That being said, I really don't like playing Pool in video games. It's simply boring if you ask me. I know this is a matter of personal taste and I've tried to review the game fairly anyway. I won't be awarding it a score though, that just wouldn't feel right. So let's take a look at the game. What immediately meets the eye when booting up Arcade Pool is a plethora of options. You can play 8-ball, 9-ball, US 9-ball, US 8-15-ball, trick shots, tournament mode and survivor. The game is a pure 2D experience where you look at the table from a top-down perspective. Perfect for calculating the perfect shots when it comes to finding the correct angles. The game controls really well with the gamepad as well. The only thing I had a hard time with was uh, controlling the force with which you hit the ball, but I'm sure I could have learned that given some more time. The ball physics feels very real, so you never really feel cheated when you miss. And the soundscape in the game is also quite authentic. The standard background noise is that of a crowded bar or a pool hall. The graphics, well, they're nothing special, but hey, it's a pool game, what did you expect? Here's a little fun fact for you. Remember that dispute between Team 17 and Amiga Power that I mentioned in episode 6? Well, some of it can be seen in this game as well, where the crappiest computer gamers are named after Amiga Power staff members. So let's take a look at what the reviewers back in the day had to say about Arcade Pool. Amiga Format were extremely positive and awarded the game a whooping 94%, stating that this game is incredibly addictive. It's not as realistic as uh, Archer McLean's pool, but hey, it's an arcade game, so monkeys to it. I defy anyone to play one game and walk away from the machine. Well, that definitely wasn't too hard for me, but hey, tastes wary. Amiga Power initially gave the low score of 60% to Arcade Pool. But that was because Team17 had sent them the wrong copy of the game, so they reviewed a beta version. After receiving the actual game, they gave it 91% and wrote the following about the soundtrack option. The pub and pool hall options add an interesting and quite believable atmosphere and cost nothing at all because the wacky Wakefield funsters cunningly took a tape recorder with them when they went down the pub. That's a great little fun fact about the game's development right there. And yes, it does give them games some more atmosphere. But without the actual beer and smell of cigarettes, it just doesn't do anything for me. CU Amiga gave the game an 86% score, saying that In all, Arcade Pool was a good game on the Amiga, and it's still a good game on CD32. Any pool fan will enjoy, and novice rookies will learn a thing or two about judging a shot, which can't be a bad thing. Arcade Pool is a good pool game, but it's really not my cup of tea, so I won't bother revisiting it. Try it out for yourself, you might like it.